I'm here in this cemetery on a hot day to talk about dignity and dying and the reason why I'm walking 400 miles from Banbury where my mother died to Glasgow where I was born. I'm doing this to raise awareness for the cause of assisted dying. We are all able to have conversations about our entry point into this world, into how we want to give birth, but we are very reluctant to speak about the end of life. And it's as if we're afraid, we have a superstitious fear of discussing death in case it makes our own death feel more concrete, uh, nearer. And we need to get over this and we need to think about what that actually means because every single one of us will pass through that door will transition into death and that transition is not merely um, a loss for those that we leave behind but it's also a difficult passage I've given birth and it was the most violent experience of my life and I watched my mother died and that became the most violent experience of my life. It can be a bumpy ride and for some people it's a very long bumpy ride and they wish to shorten it but the law doesn't grant this. I believe that this is a fundamental human right and it's an area of autonomy that every human being should be able to exercise if they so wish. And the fact that we are denied it is for me indicative of um, a field of legislation whose net has grown ever larger but also ever tighter and has now strayed into a zone where it sh should not have set foot. Um, each one of us would like to make a good death and it's important for us to have the conversations that allow us to be able to realize that good death and that could involve for some of us um, planning a way in which we can um, shorten our suffering we have great faith in medicine and drugs but I have seen how the maximum doses of the most powerful painkillers that um, hospitals have at their disposal may sometimes not be sufficient to prevent great fear and suffering. And when you watch someone that you love, someone like your own mother, have to endure that, it makes it become of paramount importance that you start a conversation about it with those around you because you know that the people around you may be enduring it now with their loved ones or may have to go through that themselves. So what I would like to do during my, my walk is to, is to treat it like a meditation where I am consciously walking through the country and meeting people to raise this issue to talk about what a good life and a good death mean and what kind of um, loosening of legislation can be achieved for us to be able to plan dignified and hopefully as pain-free as possible deaths. So thank you for watching. I'm going to um, also post a, a donate, go donate page for the Association Dignity in Dying and I would also really like to have um, people either sharing this video or commenting or um, talking to people around them about this, about this issue um, and yeah I just want to thank you for watching and I and please 
stay tuned because I'm going to post a kind of vlog of my journey both in training and in um, the different stages of preparation and the walk itself. Thanks.